CMV college education system in the U.S. is extremely overrated and unnecessarily expensive. I would like to start with the post by saying that college is expensive in most parts of the world. But for some reason, the U.S. just sticks out like a sore thumb. To illustrate my point, I am going to use the latest Times Higher Education Rankings. The two primary universities I'll compare are LMU, Munich and UCLA to demonstrate my position. I am doing this because they're similarly ranked and have around a similar number of enrollment as they're both giant universities. I would emphasize here that LMU is free for everyone as education in Germany is free and even after aid. The in-state cost of UCLA is 15k a year. This completely boggles my mind because of one primary factor. The total budgets that both these universities have. UCLA's budget for 2021 was $9.2 billion for the year 2021 and out of that, about $3 billion came directly from the state of California. I understand that the 9.2 includes the fee that UCLA collects and that's why I would only consider the value UCLA gets from California and comes out of taxes paid. In contrast to this, LMU's total budget was around 740 million euros or 900 million United States dollars. This is what blows my mind. What exactly is so great or amazing about UCLA's degree that it needs on average three times more money than LMU after factoring in the difference of about 6,000 students and then also need to charge at least 60k for an undergrad degree? I seriously don't see the appeal here. While researching this, a point was made about the on-campus housing but even that doesn't make the cut in my opinion. It doesn't make the cut because university charges a good amount of money for those dorms and aren't provided for free. LMU also provides student housing and that's way cheaper than UCLA. One more pressing point I found out was the difference in number of administrative staff. At LMU, an administrative staff of about 8,200 people seems enough to manage 51k students' 2018 value but, for some weird reason, UCLA needs 26k administrative to manage 48k students' 2021 number. Another issue is the number of academic staff aka the people who teach. It seems like for some weird reason, LMU is able to squeeze in around 1500 more academics with its smaller budget 5565 at LMU versus 4016 at UCLA. After reading all this in depth, I came only to one simple conclusion the students in UCLA aren't exactly paying for tuition. They're paying for a bloated administrative staff. Hence, I say that college education system is overrated because students aren't paying primarily for education but for bloated admin to keep their numbers up. Edit please challenge the assertions made and don't suggest that education is worth it. I know it's worth it. An engineer could earn 150k in US and only 60k in EU and I guess it's the same for professors. But completely agree with administration. Can anyone in Germany go to college for free? In the US 40 of people 2534 have a four-year degree while in Germany the number is only 28. More of the population are able to get degrees in the US. I think you're missing a couple of things here. One is return on investment. In the US the median increased earnings for having a degree are $24,000 a year. I doubt it's as high in Germany. Another issue is the aggressive tracking used in Germany and other countries. Weaker underperforming students are ferreted out and can't really attend higher education. I'd also note that despite the cost. The U.S. ranks rather well in terms of population with a tertiary degree.
Seems like OP just wants to argue that Germany is better than the US and this is the platform he chose. The amount of money can differ very quickly. Med school costs like 200 grand. Why compare it to four years at UCLA? It actually only costs like $15.20k total to get a good state school college degree in the US. And that's only if your family makes too much for financial aid otherwise it's closer to zero. My estimate includes two years of community college. Doing the first two years at a university in America is an entirely unnecessary luxury. Comparing just raw budget numbers is a terrible comparison without knowing what those budgets pays. 4. How many operations are being run by LMU? Does it have medical, dental, nursing school, world-class sports? Does LMU have a giant fucking hospital system under its name? UCLA seems to get over $1 billion in research funds greater than the entire budget you state for LMU. It appears you are comparing apples and oranges. You raise a lot of good points and in my opinion the government should make it a lot easier for the poor to attend college. One thing you don't seem to cover is that even if you take out student loans college is still financially worth it. The median income of a college grad is sufficiently higher than high school only or some college. That it's financially in your best interests to go to college. Until tuition, college debt incurred, or interest rates on college debt increases significantly or some combination to the point where it's a financial wash long term it will continue to be worth it. This was a decade ago but I earned a chemical engineering degree from a top 5 public university for zero dollars. The state covered 100 of the tuition for me and the vast majority of my classmates. Let's remember for the boomers college education was basically free, then they took it away from us. Change it to what? It's actually worse? Bachelors required entry-level roles would beg to differ. I do agree it's very possible to make a good living in the trades. But they take a toll on your body and or take a long time to make money. There are plenty of schools around the U.S. that are actually very reasonable price-wise. Even more so if it's a public school and you can get in-state tuition. Expensive. Yes. Overrated? I don't know because people from all over the world come to America for an education. I'm not saying people don't go to Europe or Asia for higher ed. But higher education in America is one of the few things we do right. The U.S. has something called the Freedom Tax. The American taxpayer is free to pay premium prices on ambulance rides to the hospital and the opportunity costs of missing work due to illness. Americans pay to have to go back to work the day after giving birth. Freedom. That difference in operation costs between these two universities is the price of freedom. I think your assertions are a bit off-key. The U.S. college education system is primarily about making money. Calling it unnecessarily expensive makes no sense when generating money is its primary purpose. Flushed flushed flushed.